Hey what is up guys, in this video we are going to find out how we can install Django REST framework inside a virtual ENV and start our project. Um, so but before we do that we want to understand like why should I be using Django REST framework over Django, right? Okay, so let, um, let's say you are using your Django backend, so when you use your Django backend you are uh, provided uh, Django templates. Uh, so those uh, Django, old school Django templates are like uh, tightly coupled with your Django backend and uh, uh, yeah, the Django templates will be like a Jinja 2, HTML5, CSS3, those like old school templates, right? So uh, this becomes inconvenient uh, when you have, when you want to write a single page application, like when you have your, um, DRF backend, you have, uh, this is like loosely coupled and, uh, it can be attached to any, uh, front end modern JavaScript framework such as, um, React.js or maybe Vue.js or Angular. So, yeah. So it gives you the scalability and usability because you once you write your DRF, um, then uh, DRF backend, then it can be rendered by um, you know um, it can be uh, it can talk to uh, mobile um, or any other um, devices. So which is good. It's not like tightly coupled with um, uh, Django in you know, old school templates. So scalability and usability is one of the issues uh, that we concern when we start learning Django REST framework. And then um, it has this super easy serialization process. Uh, so yeah, this is this is also uh, another. Uh, I, I think it can be another point why uh, people use uh, a Django REST framework. And then um, one of the most important, as I said earlier, like the modern JavaScript frameworks can be used um, when you use uh, DRF. Uh, so Angular, Vue.js, or whatever frameworks you are comfortable with, you can go ahead and um, you know bind your front end with these uh, DRF. And the final one would be uh, like the class based views uh, because um, you know, Django uh, DRF uh, actually uh, gives you a lot of uh, view classes. Uh, those are like four or five line of, uh, lines of codes and uh, they are quite easy and uh, easy to implement and uh, yeah so those are the special reasons why we use um, Django REST framework and uh, um, so if I sum up um, uh, the difference between Django and Django REST framework um, then I should say that Django REST framework gives you the liberty uh, to you know bind your front end um, from uh, the modern JavaScript framework such as Angular View, Angular Vue.js, and then uh, yeah, React.js and all that. But well, if you use Django, then yeah, you are tightly coupled with your um, um, the provided Django templates. I want to go to YouTube Django projects, and here I want to create the uh, project. So uh, let me open up my command prompt uh, and uh, okay and. So first, I want to pee freeze. Like I want to see what I have. I have uh, this virtual ENV wrapper for Windows, so looks good. So now, I what I can do? I can. Um, so I want to create a virtual ENV, and uh, the name of the ENV I would like to say like DJ Tutorial. So. This is going to create a virtual env for us and we are already inside this virtual env it has been activated for us so inside of this e uh, environment um, uh, now we can install django rest framework but those who are wondering how come i how come i uh, make the environment through this um, utility it is because i have virtual env wrapper installed and if you don't know about virtual env wrapper then you can see the first episode of this tutorial series i have to, uh, i think i have discussed about virtual env wrapper and virtual env in that video so please go and find that video if you are not comfortable with a virtual env wrapper so as I was saying and now I'm inside this um, virtual environment and I can say pip install uh, Django uh, REST framework okay now it is going to install Django REST framework and uh, possible um, dependencies uh, and if this uh, if the Django REST framework is installed properly then uh, we will be getting a uh, utility which is Django admin and that Django admin um, uh, is going to help us create um, the project okay uh, so we will be needing that um, utility uh, uh, it's taking time okay it has uh, created I think it has been installed so let me pee freeze one more time and see if we have that installed and it has installed Django framework and Django and other you know libraries so since we uh, now that we have installed Django REST framework we will be um, getting this Django admin um, uh, utility and now we can 
uh, say Django admin start project um, project and the name of the project let me say um, our project name is inventory so now it's going to create the inventory um, project for us uh, if I uh, go to the directory uh, you see uh, there is a folder called inventory and inside of this inventory uh, there is a file called manage.py so now I can go back a CD to this inventory folder um, and I can say I can check like what I have I have manage.py file and I can say Python manage.py run server and now it's going to run the server for us and okay successful and if I go to this directory uh, sorry um, the URL copy this uh, paste this URL on the browser and yeah as you can see it is working I would like to actually stop that server and I wanna I wanna open up this project onto VS code so let's say code dot and then it's gonna open up this project onto VS code okay here we go so this is my inventory project and it has created a database and it has the manage.py and uh, manage.py file so through this manage.py file we we were able to run that on the server okay so in, i will open up this project and from the settings.py file we will um, go through this settings.py file later on but for the time being what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um, register my rest framework uh, inside this installed app section okay so I'm going to write rest frame work. Otherwise, this rest framework is not going to take over this Django project as rest framework project. OK, so this is what I have to do. So if you think this video is good enough for you to understand uh, the initialization of this Django rest framework, then please hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe to my channel because more are coming.